But why would they do uh, something to help the economy? I mean, they're trying to defeat this president. Well, uh, Ed, you recall now, the mantra of the Republican Party is do no work, help no one, take away the highest essence of all religious faith, love and charity, and simply have a single focus, which is to defeat uh, the president of the United States, who happens to be named President Barack Obama. I will tell you, uh, as I have scanned the annals of history, uh, during the tenure of many presidents, uh, obviously the recent presidents of John F. Kennedy and Lyndon Baines Johnson, uh, Richard Nixon, who was impeached, and then subsequently Ford and Carter, I cannot find in the uh, statement of a message of a uh, minority leader, majority leader, or speaker, whose message has been defeat uh, the commander-in-chief. We have had differences of agreement. This is the most unusual historical period in our, uh, in our lifetime. I frankly believe that it will be tainted, uh, it will be uh, known as the Three Ring Circus, and it will be a shameful period because most times, no matter whether we are a divided government, which I'm arguing for a vigorous take back of the House by the Democrats and the win of the president, because we have proven in the 21st century by the, those who are elected by the Republicans, you can't have an effective democratic divided government. Uh, under the likes of uh, yeah. his thinking. So in, in our historical period, Ed, we have never seen uh, people whose message is only to defeat, particularly in these bad economic sure. times. We need to be creating jobs, and we can do this. We can see it. We can taste it. We see what we just did. We see the economy turning. We see the unemployment coming down. So we know people are still hurting.